Something very special came in the mail today, the William Optics FLT-132. And this is the 2018 edition that hasn't even come out yet. This isn't my telescope. It was sent to me for review directly from California from William Optics. And I am really excited to take a look at it. So it's an apochromatic triplet refractor. And as you can see, it's an absolute monster. So if you were wondering why I got that Ioptron CEM 60, it's because I needed something big enough for this guy. The HEQ5 was just not large enough, um, but the CM60 will be handle this no problem. Look at the size of this thing. It's a cannon. Look at this thing. This is insane. So this is by no means a review of this telescope. I haven't even put it out on the mount. This thing's never even been outside. I'm just kind of taking a first look at it and it's pretty exciting so I wanted to share it with you. First of all this thing is so heavy. It's It says it's 20 pounds. It actually feels heavier than that. Uh, so it requires a pretty beefy mount uh, to hold this with all the astrophotography gear as you can imagine. Um, the retractable dew shield. The first thing I do notice and one of the reasons it is so heavy the, well, the triplet glass design, plus there is not a piece of plastic on this thing. It's all aluminum with the uh, powder coated finish. Let's take the cap off this bad boy. Like this is the biggest cap I've ever seen. How's that look? So some of the specifications of this telescope are it's uh, one 132 millimeter objective focal length is 925 so that's the farthest reach of any refractor i've ever used um, it's actually almost where, to where my uh, newtonian gets to uh, the three inch focuser here with the william optics brand new three inch roto lock uh, system which you saw in the z61 um, and as you can tell, it's the same color matched gold as the Z61. Let's stick with the gold and this thing looks like it was built for a king, not for me. Um, it really is a beautiful scope. So again, going along with the uh, specs, it's uh, F7, um, which is great for a scope of this size. The glass is the FPL 53 again, as, as was used in the Z61 and um, many other high quality refract APO refractors these days. The really cool thing about this refractor is that it will perform visually uh, well on, say, planets, uh, which I've never experienced in a refractor before because they just didn't have enough aperture. But of course, this one being at 132, it does. As for the cameras that I'm going to hook up to this baby, uh, I'll try it with the T3i DSLR, so crop sensor, and uh, I'm hoping to get a full frame camera in the new year. I'm, I'm looking on the used market for uh, like a 6D. Modified would be nice uh, just so I can test full frame cameras. I know a lot of you guys at least half of the uh, The followers of this channel are shooting with full frame cameras. So I'd like to provide better preview reviews of uh, Telescopes using a full frame uh, and then I'll also be using um, a new uh, Dedicated astronomy camera sent to me from Ontario telescopes and this one is another ZWO. It's an ASI 294 MC Pro 
So another CMOS color imaging camera. Cooled again. I seem to only get to review cooled cameras in the winter. Uh, so it's kind of a cruel trick. Um, but no, that will be really fun. Pretty anxious to try this for some visual observing uh, on planets over the next few months. Uh, however long I am able to hang on to this scope and use it, but uh, you can be sure that I'll, I'll share a full review and uh, lots of images taken through it because I think that's the best way to review telescopes for astrophotography is to, uh, to show exactly what they can do uh, rather than just keep them inside the house and looking pretty and polished all the time. This thing is going outside. So man, I am uh, really excited for 2018. Uh, and using the William Optics FLT-132 and on a side note uh, I'm getting married in two days so that's pretty exciting. Say hi Ash. Hi. <laughs>